Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the Hypertherm 30XP plasma cutter system. So, in this video, we're going to go over uh, what's included in this kit and the kit, the actually option between there's two separate options on the 30XP, but we're going to go over that as well. Um, and then we're going to go over cut capacity, duty cycle, um, and just general knowledge of this unit. So, let's hop right into it. So, right out of the box, I just unboxed this unit. It comes with a shoulder strap, your manual. Um, and consumable guide set and everything. It has a 110 adapter cord. I got this in plugged into 220 and I'll show you here. So it comes standard. I'm gonna shut it off just to show you. It has a twist lock, 20 amp 220, and then it comes with an adapter for the 220 as well. And I'll just plug that back in. So I got her in 220, so the duty cycle on 220 is 35% at 30 amps, and then on 110 is 20%. So you do lose a little bit of duty cycle when you go to 110, and you lose some cut capacity. So cut capacity on 220 is 3 8 at 20 inches a minute, half inch at 10 inches a minute, and 5 8 severance, that's on 220 volt. And then when you go to 110, you drop down. So you get quarter inch at 20 inches a minute, three eighths at 10 inches a minute, and then half inch severance on 110. Um, I've cut with both 220 and 110. Uh, performs much better on 220, but it still does perform on 110. Even at quarter inch, that's still pretty darn good. Um, I mean, that beats using a cutting torch for sure. Uh, so if you notice on this, it comes with a little consumable kit. It comes with your ground and your torch. So the consumable kit, you notice the gun, so when you step up to a 45, 65, 85, the guns actually plug in. This one's hardwired in. Same thing with the ground. Um, very light unit, very portable. So there's, like I said, there's two options in this. So this is the 30XP with the Hypertherm PowerMax sticker on the side. There's a We Build America edition. It's a different decal. Um, so on the front of this unit, you can see, pretty simple, not a digital display, um, but, it gives you your rating, so 240, 20 amp, 120, 20 amp, 124, 15 amp. So we got 15 amps on our cutting all the way to 30. It was already already rated for 30. But you can see 120 and 20 amp. It gives you the blue range of what you can go up to on, on the 120 when you're plugging the 120 um, or 110. So just to give you that, and I'll flip this unit on. So it tells us we got power. This is our air pressure line. We're good there. It'll it'll light up orange if we're in error. This will light up orange if we don't have consumables on. And that's the temperature. So if you duty cycle this thing out, that temperature will pop open and pop on, and it'll shut off. But just to show you what I'm talking about here, I'll unplug my consumable, and we get a orange light. So not a big deal, but I plug it back in. Still got the orange light, and it won't cut. So the biggest thing is just cycle power and it'll clear that error code, and then you're good to go. So when you change out consumables, just remember, you gotta clear the error code by on off that switch. So to go over consumables, this thing has, now I do have a consumable kit that we offer with this unit. Um, I'll go over that too, but I'm just gonna pull this off, show you here. So on the inside, we got our, we got our shield, retaining cap, our nozzle, our electrode, and then our swirl ring. So all those consumables, five pieces, go together to make one unit. So I'm, I'll put them all back together. So we got our shield here, goes on. Got our nozzle. Now you can see that's been used once before. They test these from factory. So that's the factory test nozzle. We'll drop it down in, drop the electrode in, drop the swirl ring in, and then it all goes back together on the unit. We're good to go. Cycle power. And there's our code. So pretty simple how everything goes together. Consumable kit that we offer up comes in a nice package. Um, this is the 30XP package. So I'll open that up. We got a little sticker there. But we got seven electrodes, seven nozzles, two, two shields here. One is a um, a non-drag shield, one's a drag shield. We got one swirl ring, one retaining cap. Comes with three fine cut nozzles. So what the fine cut does is it tapers the, uh, the plasma down and it makes a finer cut for your consumable. So if you're cutting 
quarter inch and you want a fine cut or it just narrows the um, cut curve on your when you're cutting steel so pretty sweet um, but it comes in our consumable kit we'll link that down below um, I recommend buying a consumable kit because what it comes with is what's on the torch and what's in this pack and I guarantee first out of that rip you're going to do something and you're going to need another electrode or a nozzle and then you're going to be that's so well and you need a more consumable so throw that in your cart um, I recommend that and then we also recommend an air separator so this unit has an internal separator and we recommend a secondary separator obviously not like the 45 xp where we can clean out our separator this one you cannot but we recommend running an air separator so that pulls moisture oil that sort of thing out of the out of your compressed air um, you do need a four cubic feet per minute air compressor i got this thing hooked up to a 20 gallon four cubic feet per minute 90 psi this requires 85 psi it's perfect um, perfect match on that i would recommend if you're going to run this off a generator at least 10,000 watts um, to run this unit on 220 uh, to get maximum performance out of it that's just my recommendation but I, i've heard people running in on lower generators but just to recommend 10,000 watt would be sufficient and obviously 90 psi would be sufficient at four cubic feet per minute to keep up with this 30. so comes with a new torch as well the duramax lt light um, light durable torch it's actually it's very nice fits in your hand well uh, it's 15 foot long so it's a little bit shorter than your bigger units but for portability wise it's awesome um, i really like this unit because we can go to 110 so we can run off a regular wall outlet uh, remember though you need a 20 amp circuit breaker or a good um, plug close to the box but very very convenient uh, to run 110 on these little plasmas so if you got any questions or comments or anything please leave them down below um, some of the biggest questions we get are just generator right and how much air we need uh, with three year warranty on the unit and one year warranty on your torch doesn't cover you know severance of the cord or dropping or running it over or pulling it out of the front of the machine we see that a lot that is not covered under warranty warranty only covers torch components and if something fails in the line so just keep that in mind um, but like i said leave all your comments down below we'll do our best to answer them thanks again for watching stay tuned for some more